In this lesson, you are going to learn how to install a program on a remote computer using PSExec tool and without disrupting the user session. You are not going to interact visually with the user session and the user will not notice any setup program window that will pop up in his session. The advantage is that the user will not stop working while the support technician is installing the program. And the advantage for the support technician is that he has not to wait for the user to end working on his computer to start installing the program. In this lesson, I'm going to install the Firefox browser as an example. The first thing to do is to download the Firefox MSI installer package. In the browser search bar, I type Firefox MSI download. Here it is. I click on the Mozilla support website. Okay, I scroll down. Under the MSI installers section, I click on the link to get the MSI package. On this page, I need to choose which Firefox browser I need to download. In the first list, I select Firefox. In the second list, I select Windows 64-bit MSI package. To be able to install Firefox remotely, you need to use the MSI installer and not the .exe installer. In the third list, you select the language you are using. I keep the English US. And finally, you need to download the package. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. Now that I have downloaded the package on my PC, my next step will consist of copying this package on the remote computer. I'm going to do that using the command prompt. I need the admin privileges in order to run psexec command later on. I type the copy command, I enter the source file, and I enter the destination path. The destination path already contains the installation package, so I'm just going to type yes to overwrite it. The package has been copied. Now I'm going to change the directory to sysinternals so that I can run the psexec command. Now I'm going to copy the command I already prepared because it's a little long and I will discuss that in detail. So I run psexec on the end user PC. The dash i parameter means that the command I want to run will interact with the user session. Here the interaction is not necessarily visible. The dash s parameter tell psexec to run the command in the system account. It's the account that has the highest privileges in Windows, more than the administrator account. Here is the program I want to run, msiexec.exe. The slash i parameter tells msiexec that I want to install a program that is located in this path. Slash qn parameter tells msiexec that I want to run the setup without showing any user interface. The installation will run quietly. The slash restart parameter will prevent the system from restarting after the setup complete. Some programs require the system to restart to complete the installation, and I don't want the system to restart while the user is logged in. Now I type the enter key to run the command. The psexec service is starting on the end user PC, so let's go to the end user PC to see what happens. It seems that nothing is happening, and this is normal because I did run the setup in the quiet mode. I will just wait till the setup completes and create the Firefox shortcut on the desktop. Yes, here is the Firefox shortcut. The setup has successfully completed, and as you have seen, there was no disruption on the user session. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.